Hi boat fans, this is Tim from Boatshed Brighton on board this Moody 44 with you for a tour of her interior so that you can get a really good idea of her layout and if she might suit you. So we're starting in the after cabin which is a really fantastic feature of this boat and as you can see we've got a really nice double bed there with seating either side so an island berth so no need to climb over each other to get in which I think is a, a really fantastic feature for this boat. If I just look to the right hand side there we've got the seat with stowage underneath and we've also got got a, uh, a set of drawers on the outboard side and a cupboard above with a little uh, locker there for your bits and pieces too. You'll notice the inside of the hull is lined as well, it looks absolutely fantastic. There's lots of windows which open and a hatch down here so it's really really nice and light and I'm feeling very very much at home. If I sit down on the seat on the port side and look to the starboard side you can see it's pretty much mirrored, so we've got the uh, the lined hull there, we've got the drawers, we've got the, the worktop or the shelf with a small cupboard in. And if I just look no, uh, to, the, to the left, which is forward, we've got a great big mirror with a vanity unit in front of it, access to the engine below or to the, to the shaft line there below, and we've got a cupboard above too. Feels really great in here. And also to the starboard side, we've got a nice big locker too. Underneath the bed, we've got batteries, we've got the steering quadrant, we've got the calorifier, and we've also got the Avis backer cabin heating. So all snug underneath there. Really great and just a feature that I'm very jealous of. But let's move forwards along the starboard side. And I've just opened the door to the head which i would guess we would call the ensuite head uh, it is linear and it's jack and jill as well so there's access from the galley too we do have a shower in here though this shower needs the shower drain pump reinstalling shouldn't be too hard we've got a sink to the outboard side and we've got the head forwards with a lid on it and also we've got the cupboards to the outboard side as well so really nice and easy to traverse through and we've also got as you can see on the left hand side we've got the shower um, unit there too and uh, covered inset into the bulkhead too. The, uh, the manufacturers, Moody, they've really thought about stowage on this boat. They've literally carved out stowage everywhere you can imagine. So as we go into the, uh, into the forward accommodation, we we're entering, entering the galley which is uh, L-shaped. On the right hand side we've got the cooker with an oven and grill and three burners. She's gas. The top of the work unit there just slides out of the way. We've got the fridge freezer unit, which if I lift up, you'll see is really quite a nice, grand, large affair. Plenty of room in there. We've got cupboards behind which with sliding doors. And we've also got a massive line of cupboards and stowage along the outboard side at around chest height. So loads of room there. And then just looking to the left, the, the, the left of the worktop there, we've got the twin sink unit which means you can allow what you can do washing up while uh, entertaining your friends on the left hand side or inboard or center line here we've got a another worktop unit and beneath there we've got the fuel tank surrounded by we've got the bin on top or the uh, the opening for the bin and we've also got more cupboards on the outboard side of that too really good and there's plenty of room to move about as well lots of head height now if I just look up we can see on the right hand side we've got two very very comfy armchairs stowage again inset into the shelving there on the right hand side nice bit of stows there we've also got the wine bottle locker or wine glass locker inset there too very nice indeed and we'll move forwards now through the saloon and i'll open this door on the right hand side and as you can see that's straight into the forward pullman cabin so if you've got friends or guests or even kids staying on board Plenty of room in there for two. Bottom bunk, top bunk, and we can see the cockpit cushions on the bottom bunk there too. We do have lots of light in here as well through the opening hatches, which is very nice indeed. And on the forward bulkhead, we have a mirror and we've got a locker unit there too. So very nicely thought out. I'll close the door on that and move forwards into the forward cabin. So here we are. We've got a, a really decent sized berth there with infill so plenty of room for two adults and again as per the rest of this boat we've got lots and lot of lockers lining the uh, the hull at around these are a little bit higher just above chest height and obviously we've got the 
the hatch there letting light and air through if you need it. So it feels nice and bright and airy in here as well. And as you can see, the, the hull was lined too, which is, uh, which is great. On the left-hand side, we've got a, uh, a locker unit here. So plenty of room for your bits and pieces and a nice place to be, I think. So now we're just moving aft along the port side. I'll open this door here. And again, we've got a Jack and Jill entrance to this head. So we've got a working shower in here. Nice shower cubicle there with the seat in it also. And then if I just look forward, we've got the sink, worktop, and the white throne. And we all know what that's for, don't we? So yeah, lots of room in here. And it does feel nice and light and bright and airy. Again, thanks to the hatches inset into the deck head up there. Really great. So let's close the door on the head and look for, look aft, sorry. So we're looking directly aft now, and I'm going to come over to the starboard side and point you towards the really, really nice saloon seating area. I'm now sitting in an armchair and feeling very comfortable, and we're looking across to the port side. So as you can see, we've got loads of U-shaped seating, looks very comfy. The saloon table, which folds in half, and again, the stowage, which follows all the way along the port side. So lots and lots of room, along with the shelves. With, uh, with the inset cupboards again. And you'll notice there are uh, two 40 volt sockets all over the place in this boat, so very nice and handy. Now moving aft, I'll just have a quick look from a different angle at this, uh, which is effectively the, the fuel tank cover stroke, uh, more work surface. We've got uh, more instrumentation here. We've got the heater thermostat, the main isolators, and a GPS unit. Then if I just look over to the port side, we've got the really nice and snug yet big looking nav area so we on the uh on the bulkhead here we've got the uh, vhf radio and something else under here so we've got a gps unit under here sorry no that's nav text under there and uh although that's never used uh, we've got the really nice big chart table which lifts up to allow you to stow everything in beneath we've got the nice seat for the navigator too there with storage underneath and if we look up we'll see that we've got cupboards stereo electric panel sockets and we've got the radar under here and gps and the ais2 all very handy all there for you to use and i'll be quite happy navigating from this area let's put the cover back on there we go really nice and we'll finish our tour we'll come aft back out of the navigating area into the after pullman cabin again plenty of room in here two nice beds very nice and cozy i'd be happy in these at sea and we've got the lined hull there too. So uh, well thought out by Moody. And just behind these two doors here, we've got access to the port side of the engine and there's a cupboard also. Very good, very handy for those people who want to stay or your crew. So here we are, back in the after cabin, the really lovely after cabin. I wish I had one like this. If you'd like to know any more about this boat or if you'd like to come and see her, just go to boatshedbrighton.com where you'll find lots more pictures, videos, virtual reality. Hope you enjoyed the tour and we hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.